Hey, it's Rick Fix. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over my uh, Fuji uh, Mini Mike 4 turbine uh, that I bought about eight months ago. I uh, purchased it, I think, from uh, Painters Plus for uh, 750 bucks. And uh, I tell you what, uh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Great uh, machine. Uh, what you get is you get this uh, uh, four-stage uh, turbine. You get a uh, six-foot hose or six-foot whip and a little uh, control valve here to uh, adjust the uh, pressure. There's uh, <clears throat> 8.5 uh, PSI is coming out of this thing. I don't know if it's 8.5 uh, at the uh, base of this uh, turbine or it's 8.5 at the tip. I don't think it's at the tip, but I haven't had a problem uh, spraying latex whatsoever. Uh, they also give you this, uh, you know, 25 foot holes and uh, this uh, GXPC uh, 400 uh, cc uh, spray gun. Very good spray gun. What I like about this is uh, you could turn this thing. So you, when you're spraying uh, the tops of insides of the cabinets or you're spraying down, uh, you don't want to get paint running through this hose here. Otherwise, you got to take it off and clean it every time, and it's a uh, pain in the ass. It slows your work down a lot. Uh, you got a uh, little fan knob here, which uh, controls, I think it's uh, from a foot uh, down to a, a half an inch. And on here, you got your directional, your horizontal, and your vertical. This is the only thing that I really don't like about it, because uh, you got to unloosen this knob every time and and turn it. It takes a while to figure out uh, how, how to get it right. It'd be nice if you could just turn this thing uh, without unloosening it. But uh, back here you got your pressure uh, knob for your uh, tip here. And inside here I believe it's a 1.5 uh, tip. But uh, really good. You know it's real easy to clean, real easy to take apart. Uh, the spray gun, uh, I have not had uh, any problems with it. In fact, uh, it's uh, it's excellent. It's excellent. I couldn't. Uh, the whole machine is great. You know, I just put this little holder on here right now, uh, just to put that on there to show you. You know what they give you, but <clears throat> I'm gonna take that off because I fit everything in this uh, package into my little box. It just doesn't doesn't fit. And also, this uh, turbine is loud. It's uh, I didn't buy the quiet one. The quiet one is like uh, two hundred dollars more. And uh, you can't have this inside your uh, spray area because what happens is uh, the, uh, the excess, the spray off that comes off, uh, which is minimum, it still finds its way back to this machine and it clogs up these little uh, filters that I can't get out. Come on, let's get this all out. They give you these little foam filters at the end. You put one here, you put one over here. And, uh, you know, you just got to end up cleaning them because these get clogged. It's going to slow uh, your uh, PSIs down, and uh, it's noticeable. You, know, you will know when these are clogged. So uh, what I do is I, uh, I bought this 50-foot uh, of uh, heater hose, and then they give you a 25 feet of uh, hose with the uh, unit, and then I bought this 6-foot uh, whip. Definitely buy this whip. It makes it a lot easier moving that gun around. You know, all you gotta do, you know, it's just you need this whip. Buy that whip. Don't uh, don't forget that. And uh, you know, they also give you the pressure valve with that as well. But what I do is I have a 50 foot, 25 feet, and six feet. So that's what uh, 75, 81 feet. And I and I put this machine out of the uh, room that I'm spraying. If not, put it out of the house. Uh, don't have the machine higher. Then the gun, for some reason, the pressure can't go down. It should always go up. Uh, so what I did is I bought uh, a little remote control uh, from Menards for 10 bucks. So I plug it in and uh, get ready to spray, and then I just turn it on. I don't want to hear that. You know, it's just it's too loud and. Uh, you have it out of the house and uh, you can barely hear it. Uh, my overall ranking on this machine is phenomenal. Uh, when I did all my research before I bought this, they had, uh, where is it? <clears throat> they had uh, people asking all types of questions about how much water you need to put in these things to uh, thin them down so you can spray it out of the holes and then. 
how much flow troll you need to add uh, <clears throat> this, this, this viscosity. It's hard to say that word. I don't know why. I'm not going to say it again. Uh, this vis viscosity, Jesus. Cup tells you in the book that it needs to be, I don't know, 20 seconds. Uh, latex, 20 to 30 seconds coming out of this cup. And I had to thin this a lot for that to happen. And uh, so I started spraying it, and it was too thin. I didn't, I didn't like the way it was coming out. It was just too thin. So, you know, I just started experimenting it with it. You know, I'd fill it up to whatever it is, a pint, 32 ounces. And I got it down to 8% water and 5% Floetrol. And it came out great. It was came out like glass. It was perfect. So this, this uh, four uh, turbine uh, sprayer has enough power <clears throat> to spray latex through. I haven't sprayed it just with latex with no additive. Uh, you know, maybe I'll try that with uh, this uh, next project I have. I'm uh, going to be uh, spraying these old uh, press board uh, cabinet doors. I'm going to be painting these black and then I'm going to be painting the island uh, white. Um, so I'll go over, uh, maybe I'll make a video of this too, of uh, showing you how I do that. But, uh, yeah, I could uh, praise this machine enough. It uh, definitely delivers the power you need. You know, they give you all the little uh, cleaning tools for this as well. You know, the little scrub brushes and all that. I only spray latex. I don't spray oil. I don't like oil at all. I don't like the fumes. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, but what I did by extra... Also was uh, this can here. There's 400 cc can. It's um, it's nice, but it's thin, and I could definitely see dropping this, stepping on this, breaking this. So I just bought an extra one to have uh, laying around. So I just put that back in, and then I bought uh, you know these tubes that you the paint goes down, you know, and, and it's gonna go down. It's, it's it just happens. It's part of the game. And uh, some uh, O-rings for that as well. And I got a couple extra foam uh, filters for that thing. I think this was uh, 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. Uh, the uh, tubes were probably 20. The filters were probably 10. Um, so I probably threw another 100, 125 bucks into it. So it's 800, 875 for the whole kit caboodle. And uh, I couldn't praise it more. What a uh, great machine this is. And... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to go over there with you. I'm, uh, I'll do a little video of me uh, spraying these cabinets to show you uh, how nice this comes out. But if you're looking for HVLP, uh, you know, this is it. And it's under $1,000. So uh, it's uh, good stuff. So, all right, I'm going to go uh, start working on these uh, kitchen cabinets, and uh, maybe I'll bring you along. Okay, I'll see you later.